Hey everyone, just uh, did a little bit more work on my little display tester thing. Uh, I'm thinking about using these little displays to make a clock, and um, I've just added a rotary encoder to this Arduino shield just to stuff around. It's a two channel, um, two bit grey encoded encoder, so it um, doesn't require any real debouncing because of the way the grey coding works. Which, as you can see here, I'm setting the hour if I want, and then the time, the minutes, which makes it really easy. The actual each indent is four um, counts, but um, what I'm doing is just shifting the grey coded um, position counter um, down by two bits so that for each indent I'm only getting one count. Basically, that means that um, I don't have any of the switching issues because only one bit is changing and the um, the constant changing of the uh, character position uh, means that it never actually catches any bounces because the um, only one bit is changing so it makes it quite uh, a very usable control system which has got a button, uh, that's the alarm which I haven't implemented yet and there you go so the actual displays themselves are implementing this blink all I'm doing is setting an attribute to say blink these characters so when I'm in this mode it's hours when I'm in the map mode it's in minutes and so the display takes care of it um, which is kind of handy which you can see it's not in edit mode at the moment I haven't actually implemented the clock as yet this is just a setting function because I'm not actually going to use an Arduino to do this I'm, I'm actually going to build a proper board up and bits and pieces I'm just using this to test the concepts um, I'm just going to use a, a clock chip to do the actual implementation I built a pick clock before and using a clock crystal but I found the um, the tuning of the actual um, time routines to be a bit, bit horrible. I um, always found that the clock would always drift 5 to 10 seconds a day, or actually sometimes up to a couple of minutes a day just from temperature and stuff and I don't, I'd never understood why because uh, it was a crystal so it should have been right but I, never, I could never get it to work properly so I decided to use a clock chip. But anyway, this is just a little concept, so I uh, hope you like it. Thanks.